Welcome to Your Surface Questions Answered. Today's question is, how do I get Zoom on my Surface? I've had a lot of people ask me questions like that over the last couple of weeks. How do I get the Zoom app? I've checked in the store and I can't find it there. You'd find the same thing if you went searching for Microsoft Teams in the store. It's also not there. In fact, the only apps for video conferencing that you'll find in the store are Skype and the Microsoft Teams competitor, Slack. I guess in this age of iPads, a lot of people have been conditioned to thinking that the place that you get apps is only in the store. And it would be nice to see Zoom, Teams, Skype, Skype for Business that is, WebEx, Hangouts, and everything else in the store, at least for convenience and simplicity. But one of the key reasons that we use Windows devices is because we can run software from anywhere. We don't have to go to the store. With Windows, we can run any one of the practically billions of apps that have been written over the last 30 years. So instead of going to the store, we can go specifically to the software vendor's website to download the software that we need. So in the case of Zoom, if you wanna run Zoom on your Surface, you just go to the Zoom website, zoom.us. Join a meeting and it will prompt you to download and install the software that you need. It's pretty easy to do and once you've installed it, it'll always be there for next time. So you can then pin it to your start menu or to your taskbar. So if you need Zoom or any other software to connect to a meeting on your Surface, chances are you'll be able to go straight to the software vendor's website and download it. If someone sends you a meeting link in one of these apps, you'll probably get a chance to download and install the software just when you click on the link. So Zoom has become very popular over the last couple of months and I've certainly been joining in on a lot of Zoom meetings on my Surface. But at Tablet PC, our preferred meeting app is actually Microsoft Teams. Now Teams does a great job of video and audio. It's really good for group calling. It's easy to invite people to your meetings and it doesn't require any specific software at their end. They can just use a web browser. It's got a very simple and effective screen sharing function as well. And it's actually far more than just a video conferencing app too. So that's one of the reasons that we're using it. We'll bring you some more videos on Teams and Surface soon. But tell us what video conferencing apps you've been using in the comments below. We'd love to hear about it. So if you found this answer to your question helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for our Surface Pro tips.